They keep us from going adrift. And no one wants to be up the creek without one. Paddles have been around so long, no one knows who invented them or when. But there's no question they've evolved. Made with sophisticated craftsmanship, today's wooden paddles really go the nautical mile. Modern paddles are often made from a blend of hard and soft woods for a product that's strong yet lightweight. First, wooden boards are fed into a multi-bladed rip saw that slices them into uniform strips. Each strip has a flat, smooth joint on the side. Glue is rolled onto those flat joints, and then the strips are pressed together. These glued sections will be used to make paddle blades. Over at another station, workers are creating the paddle shafts, two at a time. They glue shorter pieces of wood for the handles and clamp them together to allow the glue to set. The blade chunks are arranged in a much bigger clamp. Then the glue-coated ends of some shafts are wedged between the blade pieces. In a process called lamination, the blades are bonded to the shafts. The laminated paddle shapes are called blanks. Next, the blade design is traced onto one of the blanks. And the design is cut out with a bandsaw. Laminated wood doesn't warp easily. This allows the factory to produce wider blades, which give the paddler more power through the water. But paddles cut from a single piece of wood have a more traditional look and feel, and some canoers prefer them. These narrower paddles are made with cherry wood. Modern tools make quick work of a design that hasn't changed very much over the centuries. In no time, a basic paddle has been carved from a single piece of wood. Next, the edges are rounded off with a large router. It shapes and contours the paddle to its final dimensions and gives it a smooth finish. In just minutes, that chunky looking piece of wood is transformed into a sleek traditional paddle. Meanwhile, back in the laminated paddle department, notches are sawed into each paddle blade. Workers mix up a liquid plastic concoction, then pour it into the slots to harden. The plastic gives the paddle tips some extra protection against rocks and other obstacles in the water. Now it's time to improve the profile of the laminated paddles. With the same type of router used to shape the solid paddles, workers fine-tune the design. Both types of paddles then get a heavy sanding. The final touch is to taper each paddle head so that it's much thinner at the tip. Trademark information is branded onto each paddle using a hot iron. Then it's time for the paddles to take a dip in a tank of varnish that contains a sunblock. The varnish both protects the wood and enhances its natural beauty. The paddles are suspended on an overhead conveyor to dry. And soon, they'll be on their way to a waterway near you.